Hi, this is Chef Inspire. I am here today to talk to a, talk to you about the universal laws. The law that I'm going to deal with today is the law of oneness. The law of oneness. Now, what does this law state? This law states that we are all one. It doesn't matter your race your creed, your religion, your background. We are all one. We are human beings on planet Earth. And all of us are connected through a web-like system, which is similar to the internet, but it's in the, it's in the spiritual realm. We are all connected. We can actually feel each other's pain we can talk to each other with our emotions we can actually help each other without being in each other's presence we can feel each other's happiness or we can also feel each other's pain we are like connected. It is a total connection. And the, the reason why we are connected is based on the vibration. Now what does a vibration mean? The vibration means this, that everybody vibrates on a wavelength. Depending on what your wavelength is, is who you commune with the most. So if I'm communicating, I if on this wavelength of of happiness, then I am directly connected to all of those who are connected with the happiness wavelength. If I am on a fear wavelength, then I am connected, directly connected with all those who are in fear, who are operating in fear. Now I'm connected to everyone, but our emotions help us to form a deeper connection. So that's why when you're around somebody that's happy, it makes you feel happy. You get a deeper connection of happiness. If you're around somebody that's depressed, it can cause you to feel down. Why? Because you are connected to that person and their vibes, their vibrations, are actually connected or attaching themselves to you. How many times have you walked into a room and you never met a person before, but automatically you know that this person, you and this person feel, you feel in tuned with the person. You don't know them, but you just feel, wow, this person is something about them that I connect to, that I feel, I feel them. I feel who they are, and I feel that we have a certain connection. This is the power of oneness at work. When we operate in the power of oneness, we are our brother's keeper. If you hurt me, you are hurting yourself. If you do something, if you do something that is going to damage me, you are damaging yourself. In the law of oneness, it's nothing that you can do that is detriment, that is detriment to anybody that will not return right back to you. Because you are a part of the one, a part of the whole. You are a puzzle, a powerful piece of this puzzle that is called humanity. Now, how do you get the benefit of oneness? Of the law of oneness. The reason, the way that you get the benefit of the law of oneness is by vibrating on a high level. And what do I mean by vibrating on a high level? Practice feeling good. Practice being happy. Practice being in peace. And what happens is when you start to practice this, 
on a regular basis, everybody that's vibrating on your vibe will feed you and you will feed them. You will become, your happiness will become multiplied. Your peace will become multiplied. Your joy will become multiplied. Why? Because we are all one and we feed each other. And once we come to realize this, then what will happen is there will be no need for war anymore. Why can't we just settle our differences? I believe that those people who are sitting at the top right now, who are warmongers, who, who profit off of war, the next time they try to make America go to war, I believe the people are going to say, no, we're not going. We're not going. Why? Because it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. If this person and this person don't agree, they should put them in a, a ring. Let them fight it out. Let them duke it out. All right? Let them fight it out. Why do I have to send my child to get killed over your disagreement? It doesn't make sense. And why are we fighting these people anyway? What is the basis of why we're fighting? Is it because we want what they have? It's a bit, because we disagree, we kill. This is senseless. This is a senseless thing. And we, as human beings, need to rise above that and realize that we are one. And when we kill our brother or sister, we are killing ourselves. When we make others suffer, we suffer. What affects the people in Patterson also affects the people in Franklin Lakes and in, in, in the other affluent communities. It's no way that you can see others suffer and have the means to do something and don't do it and not receive in some type of way repercussions because of that. We are one. Our main goal should be operating in oneness. Helping everyone to achieve the American dream or the world dream of peace, love, and harmony for everyone. Why can't we let why can't we help everybody to do it? What's the problem? What is stopping us? from world peace. I hope you get this. I hope you got it. If so, guess what? Your life will get better and better. You are your brother's keeper. We are one. The law of oneness. We prosper when we all prosper. You get it? You got it? Good. Have a best day.